Hello everyone. Welcome to Service Now Gyan. Let's quickly recall what we have covered till now in the previous session that is part 1 of HR service. So we have covered the definition of HR service. What are the important points to be considered before configuring any HR services and I will be discussing in this session as well categorization of hr service and why it is important creation of hr service using the first approach that is through hr service configuration module and the creation of topic category and topic detail i have also explained each fields of hr service form in detail what are the different fulfillment types available for hr services what are the different activity types available for service activity fulfillment type and how we can attach any workflow to any hr service now in this session we will cover the second approach that is through hr catalog module also we will see how hr services can be automatically created through the hr catalog items we don't have to create them manually so before that let's understand what is hr catalog item in hr service delivery so hr catalog items are the hr services that your organization makes available for employees to request directly from the hr service catalog in simple language HR catalog item is nothing but a record producer. As we have already discussed that the HR service configuration depends whether it is going to be used internally by the HR agents or you want to get it submitted by employee through self service portal. In the previous video we have seen that for internal use we have configured only hr service and hr template but for employee self service like when we are submitting from portal we will have to configure hr catalog item also along with the hr service and hr template so here in this case we are going to configure an hr service that will be available for employees on employee service center portal and we'll also see how to request the hr service through uh, employee service center portal now this is the use case and with the help of this use case we will create an hr catalog item so for that let's navigate to our service now environment and let's navigate to hr catalog manage hr catalog module so now according to our use case catalog category is payroll so let's check whether it is available or not if not you will have to create new category first then we can go for hr catalog item creation but in our case uh, payroll cat payroll category is already available so we don't have to create it so let's click on the payroll category so in the right hand side you can see that uh, we have a new button over here so once we will click on that a pop up is displayed and here we have to fill the item details as provided in our use case so let's quickly fill the form and submit it name is payroll inquiry so 
short description is request assistance related to your payroll. Case type is HR payroll case that is COE. Topic category is payroll administration. So we have to and we have to select here payroll administration. Topic detail is payroll system that is already present. Assignment group is HR payroll and priority is moderate. Like if any topic category and topic detail is not available here, then you will have to navigate to topic category module and topic detail module. And first you will have to create it. Then you can uh, go for the uh, HR catalog item creation. So let's check whether we are missing anything. So we are good now. Right now, I will not publish it because the moment you will publish it, the HR catalog item will be available for employees to request in the HR service catalog. And we have not configured the record producer fully like uh, adding variables, scripts or, or any, any more configurations. So uh, for time being, let's submit it only. So after submitting now you can see that our new catalog item is created and available here under payroll category. One thing to be noted here whenever we create any HR catalog item corresponding HR service record producer and HR template gets automatically created. Now let's check whether HR service and HR templates are automatically created or not and we will also fill the necessary information required on the HR service and HR template forms. So to validate HR service, we will have to navigate to HR service configuration module. And to validate HR template, we will have to navigate to HR templates module under HR administration. So let's check first HR template. It's payroll inquiry. So here you can see that uh, a payroll inquiry HR template has been created when we have created the uh, HR catalog item. Now let's search in the HR service whether payroll inquiry has been created or not. So here also an HR service has been created with the name payroll inquiry when we have created that uh, catalog item that is HR payroll inquiry. Now let's open the HR service and HR templates and fill some uh, necessary information or that uh, fields that we want some values to be populated on the HR case. So here let's set the owning group as HR payroll and everything looks fine. Let's update it. Now in HR service badge, let's select HR. Open for let's select any value over here. And let's update it. So now we are good at HR service and HR templates. The next step is to add variable. To add the variable, you will have to navigate to our created catalog item and you will have to click on the edit catalog item that is pencil icon. So let's do that. This is our HR manage HR catalog. And here you can see that we have a pencil icon. And when I hover over there, it is showing edit catalog item. So click on that. Now 
now let's scroll down and here you can see that we have a variables related list let's click on the new button so once we will click on the new button a variable form will be displayed and here we will have to put our uh, values as per our requirement so let's see the use case so we will have to add one variable and the question is describe your query type is multi-line text and it, it should be mandatory so let's select the multi-line text and the question is describe your query name will be auto populated let's put the order 100 and it should be mandatory now let's submit it So now we have fully configured the record producer, HR service and HR case template. Now we can make the record producer active. So let's make it active. I think there is some error with the category catalog item. Okay. for the human resource catalog and let's save it yeah now it's okay so now we now the record producer is active so it will be available on employee service center portal so let's navigate to uh, employee service po center portal and submit a request and see whether it is working as expected or not so Let's copy the URL and so this is the employee service center portal now let's click on the catalog now let's search for the payroll category let's click on that now here you can see that we have a payroll inquiry catalog item so now we have configured only one variable that is describe your query and it was multi-line text so here you can see that uh, in our payroll inquiry HR catalog item we have a single variable that is describe your query so what you can do you can fill this form and once you will submit it the HR case will be generated so in the same manner uh, like if you want to uh, request any HR service from the employee ser employee self service you will have to submit the uh, associated HR catalog item now one more thing uh, related to catalog item that we can also attach knowledge article so let's go to manage HR catalog and in payroll this is our payroll inquiry so right now it is active so here you can see that we have an icon a book icon and it says manage KB articles so once you will click on that it will redirect to a form and there you can uh, attach a knowledge articles and that will be attached to this catalog item that is all about HR service and I believe I have covered each and every topics of HR service and 
please provide your valuable inputs and suggestion if you uh, like this video